Question mark vancomycin dosing. Administration. Monitoring guidelines for adults. Indications. Vancomycin use is limited to the following indications. Unless use is in accordance with an approved protocol or approval is obtained from infectious diseases. Empiric therapy for severe community acquired sepsis Empiric therapy for severe nosocomial sepsis in patients with four lines and are known to be M or SA colonized. Empiric therapy for surgical site infections in patients known to be M or SA colonized treatment of suspected or proven penicillin resistant pneumococcal meningitis Empiric therapy in combination with meropin in for post neurosurgical CNS infections dosing weight. Total body weight. TBW should be used to calculate both loading and maintenance doses, both the volume of distribution and clearance. In the absence of renal dysfunction, a vancomycin increase proportionately according to TBW, even in morbidly obese patients. Calculated doses should be rounded to the nearest 250 mg for ease of dose reiteration. Initial loading dose. Vancomycin loading dose. Total body weight HT loading dose. 30 M, K, 90, 110 K, 3000 M, 75, 89 K, 2500 M, 60, 74 K, 2000 M, 50, 59 K, 1500 M, 30 to 49, 1000 M. A one-time initial loading dose of 30 mg per kilogram, TBW is recommended for all patients and especially those who are seriously ill to assist in rapidly achieving therapeutic plasma concentrations. This is particularly important for patients who may have a significantly increased volume of distribution in the setting of severe sepsis and septic shock. Maintenance dosing Maintenance dosing should commence at 15 mg per kilogram. TBW. Once the estimated dosing interval has at least Vancomycin maintenance dose maintenance dosing frequency total body weight HT dose CRCL asterisk ML per minute suggested interval 1 to hour 90 to 110 K 1500 M 20 to 59 24 hour 75 89 K 1250 M redose 60 74 K 1000 M hemodialysis slash peritoneal dialysis plasma level less than 20 mil 50, 59 K 750 M, 30 to 49. Dose administration 500 mg asterisk estimated creatinine clearance infusion rate. Vancomycin must be administered slowly with infusion rates not exceeding 10 mg per minute, unless appropriate monitoring is in place, e.g. ICU slash operating theater. Rapid administration increases the risk of histamine release reactions. Redman syndrome, which can lead to patient discomfort, significant hypotension and cardiac infusion concentration. Vancomycin solution should be diluted to a maximum concentration of 5 mg slash ml to minimize thrombophobitis backslash when given via peripheral IV. Higher concentrations can be given for short periods to patients with fluid restrictions and more concentrated solutions may be administered via central four lines. The same restrictions on infusion rate apply when administered via central line. Therapeutic drug monitoring. When to sample, a vancomycin plasma trough sample should be taken approximately 48 hours after initiation of therapy. 3D, and time to coincide with morning pathology rounds and within 30 minutes prior to the morning dose. Routine levels should be ordered no more than twice weekly if stable and within target range. Follow-up levels subsequent to a dose adjustment should be ordered 36 to 48 hours after the new dosing regimen has started. Target range. The plasma trough target range for most infections is 15 to 20 mg per litre. The infectious diseases team may add on altered target ranges depending on patient or microbiological factors. High and low levels when plasma levels are unexpectedly high or low. Confirm the timing of sampling and the administration history slash record of vancomycin doses with the relevant nursing staff. Such levels may reflect missed doses or sampling performed during or shortly after vancomycin infusions rather than true trough levels. Withholding doses. Doses should not routinely be withheld while awaiting results of vancomycin plasma levels as delays in dose administration may result in sub-therapeutic exposure. 
Dorsey should be given a scheduled immediate following same lane for trough levels. Question mark dose adjustments. Before adjusting doses based on a plasma level it is important to ascertain whether the level is a true trough. Adjustments based on random or post-infusion levels can result in significant underdosing. Dose adjustments should be made in a roughly linear fashion in accordance with trough plasma levels. An increase in dose by 50% should result in an increase in trough level by roughly 50%. Although caution should be exercised then trough levels are very low or very high. Example of dose adjustment. Current dose, vancomycin 1000 mg 12 early, actual level, 12 mg per liter, target level, 18 mg per liter, 15 to 20 mg per liter. News and commission dose, target level, slash, actual level. X dose minus 18 slash 12 XIM equals 1500 mg 12 early additional advice and support. The infectious diseases team is available to provide add on dosing and monitoring of vancomycin therapy for specific patients as requested.